Hey guys, welcome to my leveling guide. Leveling's very, very straightforward. If you fuck up leveling somehow, that's just amazing. Pretty much, if you don't already, one add-on that I didn't really believe in towards the beginning of this expansion was Azeroth Autopilot. I'll say it again, Azeroth Autopilot is a very, very good leveling add-on. It pretty much just tells you where to go and what quests to do, and will auto-accept quests, auto-skip cutscenes, auto-skip scenarios, auto-skip anything that could be skipped, and will just give you the quest and tell you where to go. I've done it on my Death Knight, who is currently level 114 in Zoldazar, and it worked very, very well. Pretty much got through the zone in three hours, just grinding the zone, and I got four levels. Um, while leveling, I would suggest, if you're just focused on leveling and not professions at all, just get either alchemy, or not alchemy, either getting herbalism and mining, or herbalism and skinning. Either one of those, you're always going to want to take herbalism in my opinion, and if you have herbalism, I would suggest getting a sky golem, which can be found on the auction house for 50,000 to 100,000. Also, having your gloves enchanted with sandalari herbalism pretty much makes it so there's almost no cast time on gathering an herb. That mixed with Sky Golem, which lets you herb while mount mounted, is very, very good. So leveling, the, the XP to, uh, the XP ratio of, I guess, a mob to an either herbalism node or mining node is three to one, or one to three, or yeah, three to one. So for every one mining slash herbalism node, you'll get about three times the amount of XP from... You'll get three mobs worth of XP. So one mob is 600 gold. I've, I've done this in my head, but... One mob currently while leveling is like 600 gold. One herb slash mining node is 1800 experience. So 1800 experience compared to the 600 experience, you're just getting three mobs worth. Another way to think about it is one node is one-tenth of a quest turn in. Another way of thinking about it. So whenever you see a node, pick it up. It's free gold. It's free experience. Why wouldn't you do it? Especially right now. Especially with all the prices being super inflated as they are, but... Pretty much as you're leveling, you're just gonna want to get herbalism and mining, preferably, or herbalism and skinning, your preference. Um, uh, if it's worth saying, I do believe that skinning will be more valuable once the weeks drag on. But all you do... Don't do bonus objectives. Bonus objectives are the biggest waste of time in the game ever. Ever since, well, it's only worth. Bonus objectives currently give about two quests worth of experience. The time it takes to do one bonus objective is very, very long, and I personally believe that it's not really worth the time invested with the experience it gives. Um, if it's one of those bonus objectives that you are completing very fast, then sure, go for it. Complete it. It's two quests worth of XP, why wouldn't you? But if it's, like, if you get all the quests done in a certain zone, let's say this zone, so 36,000 XP. Let's say I kill all the gorillas and I do all the quests. I do all the quests there without trying to do the bonus objective and say I'm at 75% of the bonus objective complete. I'm going to want to finish it. If I'm at 25% or 50%, you're not going to want to finish it because it's just not worth your time grinding out all those mobs that you don't need the quest for anymore. Another thing to mention that I completely forgot is War Mode. War Mode increases your XP gained by 10%. Also, there is a trinket, not a trinket, a gem on the auction house currently called Insightful Rubelite, I believe is the name. Uh, it's pretty much that 5% XP gem that's been hyped for, I don't know why it was so hyped for this expansion, but it was. Uh, if you have a Cephas' secret, you can pretty much socket to that gem into it, and you'll get a 5% You'll get a 5% experience bonus to your whole leveling if you just have the ring equipped, so that's something to keep in mind. So, in review, so far, herbalism and mining, free gold, free experience, ignore bonus objectives unless you have a lot of them finished, or a lot of the bar finished by the time you finish the quest in the bonus objective. Um, don't bother, you can kill rares. Rares give about 5,000 XP right now. Which isn't bad, but it's that's like three nodes slash, yeah, just three nodes of gathering or just one rare. 
You can kill Reza if you want. I do believe that they're better saved for when you're level 120, because you will get the full effect of the rare drop from them rather than while you're leveling. Um, rares and treasures. Treasures don't give any experience. Uh, they were given experience in the beta, but I believe they got rid of that, so I don't know why, but... I mean, if you want that blizzard, then go for it. I personally believe that treasures should give experience, but... Treasures don't give experience right now, but they give war resources, and war resources are not bad. They're used through your war campaign, as much as the description tells you. Pretty much there. So, at least on my first tune, when it went to questing, and this is a horde side, because I don't have an alliance, uh, I started in Voldoon. It doesn't really matter where you level, actually, but I started in Voldoon, and then I moved to Zandalar. Zoldazar, sorry. And then I went to Nazmir. You can start in these two. I do believe these two give a lot more experience for the time that it's invested in them. Zoldazar is the longest zone just because of the walk times and uh, the quest being so spread out. So these two will level you the fastest, and this one is just the one that kind of feels like it drags on forever. Um... While leveling, you can do archaeology. It, if it, you're near a dig site, then and if you're into archaeology, then go for it. From what I recall, last time I did archaeology was in like Cataclysm, though. Um, it actually does give good XP. I'm pretty sure it gives about like one quest for every archaeology find. I could be completely wrong though, but that's something to look into, and uh, let me know. I'll actually look into it when I'm leveling on my Death Knight see if it's actually worth it, because if it does give good experience, then you could just run around and do archaeology to max level, but um, once you complete every zone, you'll get a quest. So I just completed Zoldazar in my Death Knight. I got a quest for the dungeon here, which is I don't know where it is. It's that big... It's around here somewhere. It's the Zoldazar zone dungeon. Pretty much the dungeon quest will give you 100,000 experience, which is one-eighth of your level. I'll just prove it here. Status tracking bar. My experience level is 131,000. The dungeon quest will give you 100,000 experience and, I believe, 600 Azerite power, which is very, very good. Um, if you want a specific queue for the dungeon, then go for it. I mean, you're not going to get a... I, I, I think that questing is pretty much the best way to level 120 immediately. Like, for the time invested and experience gained per hour, you're just going to want a straight quest. If you don't really care what you're doing, then dungeons can be good. They give Azerite power, they give loot, they give honor, or they don't give honor, they give experience. However, it's only like an eighth, or it's about a, an eighth of your level. It can be good. Um, I, I think that if you do a dungeon, you should just queue up for a random BFA dungeon. If you don't get the dungeon you have the quest for, then just leave. If you do get the dungeon you have the quest for, then stay in and complete it. Mainly because the bonus experience is about... The bonus experience plus the quest that you'd get is about a fourth of a level. So that's something to think about. However, a fourth of a level isn't really that much, considering about one set of quests is equivalent of about this much of experience. Four quests, five quests is about 100,000 experience. And that's how much experience you're getting from the dungeon quest, which probably... One group of quests probably takes 10 minutes to do. A dungeon takes about 30 minutes to 45 minutes to do. So, do the math there. Questing's just slightly faster. But, uh, yeah. That's leveling. I have... I don't even know how many tunes I have. Uh, I have every tune except Shaman to level. Don't forget about War Mode. Don't forget about the experience gem buff. Experience buff from the gem that I don't have on this character. That's about it, guys. I'll have guides for all my classes once I finish leveling them. In review, just do quests. If you really just want to grind out 220, just do quests. It's not too hard. You'll have the reputation needed for world quests also. That's something to keep in mind. You need friendly with Zandalari Empire, uh, Tor or Zandalari Empire, Talanji's Expedition, and the Voldunai. You'll need friendly with all those to get world quests, and you'll get friendly from just leveling. So, if you want to level to 120 the fastest, just stay away from PvP. Stay away from dungeons. Just just straight quest. If you don't really care, then PvP and dungeon. And then obviously, I'm not saying that gathering nodes is 
like, it's, I'm not saying it's the best experience ever. I'm saying it gives you experience equivalent to about three mobs and also gives you a lot of gold. So, at least on all my tunes that I'm leveling, I have either herbalism and skinning or herbalism and mining. And while I level, I either just, I pretty much just run around and herb stuff and then I also skin stuff if I kill it, but that's my kind of leveling guide. Um, it's gold making and... I guess just leveling at the same time. Also scrap all your stuff. Um, don't sell your blues or greens or epics, just scrap them in the scrapper near the blacksmithing trainer and you'll get a lot more gold back instead of vendoring them. But that's my leveling guide, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, my live stream is in the description, it's the first link, it's also in the upper left. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day slash night. And uh, I'll see you guys later.